Hey, hey, it's Leanne and Simon on Loving Life Now with today's topic, Amaze the World. Hi. Hi. Hi, everyone. We can well, talk well, now. <laughs> welcome to our <laughs> Facebook Live for this week. We are up to episode one. 135. Episode 135. And we are grateful to be here yeah. this evening and looking forward to having a great discussion with a whole bunch of people that are going to, about to join us. Yeah. But uh, you know the drill. We love to welcome everyone to the to the Facebook Live. So first things first, pop your details in the comments. Let us know where you're streaming in from, so that we can uh, welcome you officially to this week's episode 135 of Facebook Live. And our topic for the week: Amaze the world. Amaze the world. Hey, Wendy. Good Wendy, morning. Wendy, straight out of the gate over there in Hereford in the UK. G'day, Wendy. Great to have you here. Shani, good evening to you Shani. from Sydney. I believe it's pretty hot scorcher down there in really? Sydney. So uh, thanks for joining us. Kerry Young, hello Kerry, up in North hello. Queensland in Mackay. Welcome to you. Melissa on the Gold Coast, g'day, welcome yeah. to you. Thanks for joining us. Who else have we got out there? As you join us, pop your details in. G'day, Richard Wiseman from a snowy Hampshire in the UK. Ooh, nice. Well, you've got snow, Richard, and we've got soar soaring temperatures. Bernie Island is doing forward rolls and backflips <laughs> in Burley oh, Heads. That's a bit different. Welcome, Bernie. Michelle Collins, big hello to you on the Gold Coast. Shani said it is very hot in Sydney. <coughs> Laurie, g'day to you in Calgary right, in Canada. Nelly for Laurie. Hello, Laurie. Carolina. And uh, good morning from Germany. Hello to you. Peggy Crane, all the way in Dunsborough, over there in WA. Welcome. Agatha, nice to see you here, Agatha. Agatha. got the heater on. She, what? I'm freezing in Melbourne. <laughs> what? What is what? going on in Australia? We've got uh, soaring Crazy. temperatures in Sydney. Mm -hmm. And Agatha, you've got the heater on in Melbourne. Are you serious or are you joking with us? Well, Melbourne's another country, really. <laughs> so... Uh, we're, we're sitting here in the aircon on the Gold Coast. It's pretty warm here too. So, uh, But if you've just joined us, pop your details in. Let us know where you're streaming in from. We'd love to welcome you. Of course, before we get underway with our topic for the week, Bruce Partridge. <coughs> Howdy all. Hey, Hello, Bruce. Bruce. Great to have you here. Uh, Agatha said she's serious. She's got the heater she's on in serious. Melbourne. I'm Goodness me. I'm serious too, Agatha. All right, well, Lee's finished sharing. I'm serious so now that you're, I'm finished. Now you're paying attention back here. I am. Good. I'm glad that you could join us. I was multitasking. <laughs> I was good. Well, it's great to be here, and we've got a great topic this week called Amaze the World, Lee. I, mean, I already do amaze the world. <laughs> you amaze the world. Well, I think I do anyway. Oh, I'll, I'll agree with you. I'll say you amaze the world. Carol uh, Thompson says it's freezing in where? Healesville. Where's that? Where's Healesville, Carol? Oh, that's, oh Carol lives in Victoria, oh, too. So there you go. You're in Victoria. Um, same. Kerry Young says it's always hot in Mackay. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Very true. Yeah. Anyway, so we're going to talk about our topic, Amaze the World. So what, what is Amaze the World? But let's, let's start off by sharing this. So over the last four weeks, uh, the last four episodes, I should say, mm -hmm. been spread out over a little bit more than four weeks. Yeah. But over the last four episodes, we've covered off creating your life as your own masterpiece. And uh, so we've gone through a series of what it requires in order to create your life as a masterpiece. Yep. So if you want to watch the replays, you'll find them on our YouTube channel, uh, Simon and Leanne Unleashed. And make sure you subscribe if you haven't already too. Yeah, make sure you subscribe and you'll get the updates as we load them up and any other videos that are on there. Plenty of content on our YouTube channel, so make sure you check that out and uh, hit that little subscribe button. Actually, it'd be funny if you go all the way back and look at some of the like first videos yeah. and see how different we look. Yeah, it is pretty, it's pretty funny. funny. It's pretty funny to watch. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty funny to us. But what we used to do before we did uh, the personal development weekly streams or mm -hmm. sort of weekly streams sometimes, um, we uh, we did, we started off our YouTube, Simon and Leanne. Yes, with day in the life. A day in the life. Well, was it, was it, do we call it that? No, it was a, oh. well, it was just our life. So we, yeah, we, what um, what we call it? I can't even remember. It was Simon and Leanne Simon Unleashed. Unleashed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I think it was a week. I did it a week one. one yeah. Week. So we did a yeah. weekly, a weekly vlog. Yeah. Of our life, and uh, and you can go back and watch. We go back and watch some of those, and we moved into our house four years ago, and yeah. there's some really really fun stuff and great memories. It's a really great thing for us to be able to um, capture the memories, right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I need so. to go back and look at them now. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, we can watch them on TV. Watch them on the big screen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So let's go back to our topic. So we're talking about amaze the world. Now it's time for you. It's time for each and every one of you to amaze the world. All right. So like get, I said, I already am. All right. You already are. And I see hello from Brooke. Brooke is already amazing the world too. 
And Rob. Rob Collins up in Harvey Bay. He's joined us. G'day, Rob. Um, so it's time for you to amaze the world. We're going to start off this session with a quote. Do you want to read the quote, Lee? All of life is action and passion, and not to be involved in the actions and passions of your time is to risk having not really lived at all. Wow. Well, that's a good statement, and it's by a Greek historian. But uh, So if you're not involved in action and passion of your time, it's to the risk of having not really lived. So if you're not taking action and you're not following your passion, then what's life all about, right? Not much. All right, so it's time to step into your own life. And this is what we've been talking about, about creating our masterpiece. So you've got to step into your own life. It's also time to step out of what? Uh, Your comfort zone. Yeah, well, I mean, nothing happens until you step outside that comfort zone. And it's time to let others know your talents. Yeah, and your desires. And your intentions. You want to share your desires on And your Facebook? intentions. <laughs> and your intentions. <laughs> That's a private thing. <laughs> All right. So, so you can let others know your talents, your desires, and your intentions. You want to share that with the world or, you, or your loved one, <laughs> one or the other. So Brooke wanted us to read the quote again. So all of life is action and passion and not to be be involved in the actions and passions of your time is to risk having not really lived at all. That's it. Yep. Excellent. And someone right. said happy International Women's Day and that we're like uh, fine wine. We get better as age. <laughs> That's right. Thanks. I hope you're not talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So don't allow your big game to go unnoticed. So you want to share what it is that you're creating, your masterpiece. You want to, you want to share it with others. All right. So make sure that people are aware of your big game. So if you've got loved ones, involve them in what, you're, what game you're playing. What's your big game? What do you mean, what's my what's big game? What's your big game? Are you going to share with everyone what your big game is? My big game yeah. is to is to continue to lead by example mm-hmm. and inspire others to create greater success and purpose in their life. Nice. Yeah. Hmm. All right, so um, it's yours to create. Life is yours to create. We've spoken about that through the last four episodes that we did about creating your masterpiece. So... It's yours alone to create. It's not anybody else's responsibility. It is yours alone to create. So, in saying that, what have you got to do, Lee? Amaze the world. Besides amaze the world, what else do you got to do? Set your course. Okay. Once you've done that, then set your goals. Establish your plan. Share it with others. So, involve those that you love um, so that they're on the same page. Could be family. Could be kids, could be, you know, could be your significant other. Um, but it's really important to have involvement from those others. Uh, speak it into reality. And focus always on your vision. Continue to be on purpose. Oh, I missed one. Celebrate your wins. How can I miss that one? You've got to celebrate your wins. Celebrate your wins and continue to be on purpose. Thanks, yes. Lee. <laughs> you skipped ahead. Continue to be in action. And continue to be evolving because you've got to be evolving on a daily basis. If you're not evolving, you're what? Dissolving. Dissolving. Exactly. So you're either playing life above the line or below the line and you're evolving as a person, your mindset. And that's the last one. The most, one of the most important things about creating the opportunity to amaze the world is what? Continue to work on your mindset. Yeah, and we can do this in many ways, right? So if we cover off some of these, so set your course, be clear on your plan, right? Set your goals, create a vision board, know what it is that you want to achieve. It's not your job to know the how, it's your job to know what it is that you want. Mm -hmm. Um, And I remember when I started here in this industry 15 years ago, I had some grand dream goals, but I had no idea how I was going to achieve those. But I just put it out there and trusted in the process that if I did the work, the goals would take care of themselves. Yeah. So be clear on your plan, right? No, are they short term? Are they medium term? Are they long term goals? What's the plan that you want to create? Um, make sure you share it in, with others, involving those family, those that love you. What else have we got there, Lee? What else can we share? Focus on your vision. How do you focus on your vision? You can meditate. Yeah. Yep. You can. You can visualize. Yep. So you can visualize your goals that you've set mm-hmm. and focus on those on a daily basis. 
think about what it would feel like when you've achieved that goal. Mm-hmm. So how's it going to make you feel? And that brings an emotional attachment into um, into your goal, right? So all of a sudden you, you've you got your goal, but you've got this emotional attachment to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and celebrate the wins. And yeah. how do you do that? Celebrate it with others. So just whatever it is, like just be excited about it. Share it with others. You know, have a reward if, if you want to. Yeah, as well. write them down. Is, write them down. Write them down on a daily basis. Email it to your partner. Yeah, Someone what a else great idea. to do that. What a great idea. They didn't do it. I mean, the day's not over. The day is not over. It was in your calendar for 6.15. I was busy. <laughs> I'm busy preparing the Facebook. <laughs> You're preparing the Facebook. Yeah, so... Yeah. So anyway, so you can you can celebrate your wins. You can share them with your significant other. Um, and be continue. accountable to each other. Yeah, be accountable. Hold each other accountable. Play a bigger game. Uh, continue to be on purpose. How do you do that? Well, you've got to take action. Yeah. Right? You can't be on purpose if you're slothing on the couch. Mm-hmm. You've yeah. got to be in action in order to be on purpose. Yeah. And um, you've got to evolve and, and resolve um, evolve your mindset And also fix your mindset, right? Mm -hmm. Get rid of that stinking thinking that's holding you back. And there's one way to do that, and that is fill your mindset with positive information. Yeah. So last Thursday, I drove up to the Sunshine Coast um, to see my mum and pick her up from hospital, take her home, (laughs) stayed overnight. Um, And on the way up, I listened to this great podcast called Happy Families. And it's by uh, Dr. Colson. He lives on the Sunshine Coast, surprisingly. And they run a, uh, a podcast weekly and they also run a YouTube channel and it's called Happy Families. And um, he's a uh, father with six daughters, nice. six daughters, him and his wife have got. Anyway, so um, they share some interesting stories and uh, it was just really good to, you know, listen to the podcast on the way up. Podcasts are about 15 to 20 minutes long. So, you know, not too long episodes, not too much thought process that you need to digest just short, sharp, and shiny, mm-hmm. and uh, and then move on to the next podcast. So that was that was really good. So you can always be filling your mindset um, with positive information, things that we can improve, things that we can be doing better, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Yep, okay? for sure. And then, right. like I said, celebrating the wins. Absolutely. So always continue to be working on yourself. That's the important part. All right. And now, amaze the world is our topic. So and of Mich- course, Michelle said, "Has anyone else lost connection?" Lost connection? Um, mm. No other people would be saying that to us. Okay. So uh, Peggy said, when we share our vision with family or those close to us, it makes it real. Absolutely yep. it does. Yeah, because you're actually putting it out there to other people and you're actually affirming it that this is what you're going to do or this is what you're looking to achieve. So it's time for you, each and every one of you, to make sure you shout it from the mountaintop. Woohoo! And the rooftops. Absolutely. You've got to shout your vision and what it is that you bring and what it is that you want to create in order to amaze the world and know that it's everywhere in your life. Mm-hmm. Where is it, Lee? It's the laughter and happiness from a toddler. Yeah. It's, a, it's an offer of kindness to somebody who's in need. Mm-hmm. It is the binding commitment of a friend. And it's the acceptance of gratitude for a job well done. Are you that person that actually accepts gratitude? Mm -hmm. When somebody says, I really appreciate what you've done, thank you. you, How do you accept that? You You smile and... Say thank you. Say thanks. Smile and say thanks. Yep. Learn to accept gratitude from others um, who express their appreciation to you. Mm -hmm. Uh, It's in the feeling of accomplishment. Absolutely. And it's universal. Right? The feeling that we have when we are amazing the world is a universal feeling. It's both exhausting and exhilarating. Well, it's definitely both of those. I mean, it can be exhausting because you're so on purpose, but it's exhilarating because you're creating results in your life. Now, it's both in the sacrifice and in the victory. So we make sacrifices in order to achieve the results, but also we celebrate the victories. Yeah. And it's in the creative and it's in the frightening, right? A lot of things we do can be outside the comfort mm-hmm. zone and they can be fri- a frightening experience for the first time. It is humbling and it is unique. And it is you. It is you, right? So at the end of the day, it's you that's in control to amaze the world. So what are you waiting for? Ask yourself, what am I waiting for? What am I waiting for to amaze the world? 
So get out there. Go after what it is that you're wanting to achieve. It's your time to shine. And amaze the world, right? Be the person that you want to be. Um, revisit the topics that we spoke over the last four sessions about creating your masterpiece and how we go about doing that. So this is your time. And when I talk to people who are, in, who are interested in our business, and often people say it's not the right time, I sh- often right share time. perspective with them. That's right. There is never a right time. Mm-hmm. The right time is now. Um, because we're always going to have things in our life that we can have competing priorities and yeah. things that come up that can you know, take us out of the game. Uh, all these things that just rock our world, right? Mm-hmm. How's that story about my car? We should share that. So I drove up the sunny coast last week and on the way back, I felt this this unusual vibration through my car. And it wasn't in the steering, but it was in the car when I was doing about 100, 110 Ks on the highway. All of a sudden it was like this vibration. I'm like, something's not right. And my gut instinct was that I was concerned that I might delaminate a tire, which I did a year ago. So I've done that before. So I went back through this emotional state of is that going to happen again? Is this a trigger? Maybe I need to slow down um, because this is feeling a bit, it's not feeling safe, right? Mm-hmm. So anyway, we, we made it home. Of course, the traffic was pretty heavy and we weren't uh, at that speed for a lot of it. So we came home and I said to Lee, look, tomorrow we need to get the car into uh, a tire place tomorrow morning to get checked out what's going on. There's some vibration, not quite sure what it is, but um, it's, you know, uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. Anyway, the guy, uh, we pull into Jack's tyres at, at Burley and uh, said to him, explain the situation. Mm-hmm. said, can you look over our car? Don't know what's going on. And uh, he came out about 10 minutes later once they'd put the car up on the hoist. And he said, I found your problem. And I said, what's that? And he said, your... Well, you know how it's got five... Hang on, hang on, hang on. So your passenger side rear wheel that's normally held on by... Five. Five bolts only has two so you're missing three bolts on the wheel on the back rear passenger side and i'm like you are kidding me how did, how does this happen he said has somebody serviced your car has somebody um been doing anything to your car is it parked on the street and i'm like no it's garaged i had a service in december um and we're now in Ravenna. And uh, I admittedly, I didn't do a lot of driving over the Christmas period, long driving, so I may not have noticed it as much. So a couple of things. A, the bolts weren't put back in when it was serviced last because they took the wheels off. Or B, they put them in and didn't tighten them and then the bolts actually became loose. Now I am saying bolts because they're bolts on an Audi. Yeah. Just, just to clarify. On some cars they have nuts. On an Audi, they have a full bolt that goes in. So the whole bolt had disappeared and there was the cause of the vibration because at 100 kilometers an hour with two bolts hanging onto that wheel you can imagine the vibration that the car's giving me mm. so anyway i said look check out the rest of the tires and, and uh, just make sure everything's all right 10 minutes later he comes wheeling a tire into the showroom and said you need to check this out and i'm like what and there's this big um balloony like a balloon like this bubble about 30 centimetres long along a ridge on the inside of the tyre. So you would never have seen it. This is the other tyre on the back. So uh, needless to say, um, needless to say, I said, all right, guess what? No one had any tyres. Unless you wanted to pay $550 for a tyre, which I didn't. So I said, no, I don't need to pay that. Nobody had any tyres. They rang around. So they put the tyre back on. We drove home. They put bolts back in. So we drove the car home, parked it in the garage. Ordered tyres, and, <laughs> and it's getting new tyres tomorrow. So we had to wait for them to be delivered to the Gold Coast. Anyway. So anyway, interesting. interesting story, you know. So what happens, and how do you handle those situations? You know, um, you know, was it was it the mechanic that that didn't tighten the bolts, and did they come loose? Hmm. Did they even get put back in? Um, I don't know. Like it's just, but universe had my back. I trusted my gut instinct. Yeah. Knew something wasn't right. And got it checked out and here we are. Exactly. Safe and sound. And we'll have two new tyres tomorrow. Absolutely. So, Brooke, what um, what kind of Mercedes are you after? What car did you go and test drive? All right. So, uh, of course, Peggy said, oh, my God, that's intense. It was intense. Very intense. <laughs> All right. So, uh, so that's our topic for the week and our nice share. Now, what's happening next week? Are we back next week? 
Have you checked uh, that far in the calendar? I can better, check. better check I'll that check. in the calendar so uh, everyone knows we're here next week or have we got our business commitments on? No, we're here next week. We are back next week and we'll be back with another great topic on our Facebook Live. So thanks for joining us this evening for Amaze the World which is your time to shine. So uh, get out there, amaze the world, follow your, um, you know, your instincts, follow your vision, your goals, and go after what it is that you want to achieve because you're in control. Mm. Um, Brooke said she's going a GLE coupe black with red accents. Lovely. I love it. Love it. Nice. Very nice. All right. Well, on that, thanks for joining us, everyone. Nice. We'll look forward to seeing you next week on our Facebook Live. Make sure you check out a YouTube channel, Simon and Leanne Unleashed. And if you haven't subscribed, click the subscribe button and make sure you get the updates. Thanks, everyone. Have a wonderful week. We'll see you next week.